Well, a scandal surrounding tainted steroid injections lands in a Livingston County courtroom today. Yeah, the 2012 meningitis outbreak is responsible for killing at least 76 people and sickening nearly 800 in 23 states. A number of those cases were here in Michigan. In fact, it's considered the largest public health crisis ever caused by a pharmaceutical product. And today, those impacted here in Michigan are hoping to get their shot at justice. 7 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie joins us live this morning with what we can expect in this case. Allie. Yeah, that's right. Barry Cadden and Glenn Shin will be inside a courtroom today. They were transferred from a federal prison in Pennsylvania to be inside that Livingston County courtroom as they face 11 charges of second degree murder. Barry Cadden, the co-founder of New England Compounding Center, and Glenn Shin, a pharmacist working for Cadden, are facing second degree murder charges. The pair are accused of putting tainted steroids out on the market. It was in 2012 that hundreds became sick with meningitis infections, creating a national outbreak. Most of the people were taking steroid injections for back pain. The outbreak led to 76 deaths across the nation, including 23 people here in Michigan. Investigators were able to trace the tainted steroids to Michigan clinics, including Michigan pain specialists in Genoa Township. Both men are already serving time in prison after being charged in a federal court. Cadden is serving nine years after being convicted of racketeering and fraud in Massachusetts. Chin is serving eight years after being convicted in the same Massachusetts court. At the time, both men were acquitted of second degree murder charges. Well, Allie, of course, uh, we expect a lot of activity in that courtroom today. Do we know who we can expect to hear from in court today? Well, today we expect to hear from witnesses and victims testifying against the two men. And this preliminary hearing will determine if there's enough evidence to go to trial. All right, Allie Hoxie, thank you so much for that report.